Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, morning. 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 Okay. Before I start, can you please give a big clap to yourself? <laughs> Why I ask you to give a big clap to yourself? Because by signing up this program and attending this lessons today, you actually committed to quit for life. And this is actually, actually the first time in your lifetime that you can say it loud. I quit. Can I? Can everyone say it loud together with me? I quit. I quit. One more time. I quit. I quit. Thank you very much. Okay. So, what is this program all about? I'm sure before you sign up this program, you have read the introduction and you have read all the pamphlets and leaflets. Yes, you are right. This is a quit smoking program. Quit for life and become an ex-smoker. No more label yourself, no more label by someone else that you are a smoker. <coughs> so that is why you actually make your commitment and you make your vow to actually attend this class today. I am your trainer today and I'm a certified smoking cessation service provider. My name is Lee and call me YC. So, okay, this is the program outline. So, in this two days training, you will learn how to actually prepare yourself psychologically, physically to win the battle of quitting smoking. I'm sure every one of you has the experience of trying to actually quit smoking in your previous um, attempts, and most of the times you actually fail. That is why you actually come here. Am I right? Yes. yes. Okay. So don't worry. I will prepare you, and together with us, we can win the battle. So now we concentrate on module two, preparing for the battle. Okay. Why I use the word battle? A quitting smoking is not just a two-day program. It's actually a lifelong commitment to yourself, as well as to your family, to your loved ones. And it's a battle, it is an ongoing battle between inside your mind, inside your body, against the nicotine addiction. So before we actually go to the war, before we actually declare war to smoking, what can we do? Or what should we do? Okay, forget about this chart. This is a complicated chart, psychology chart. It's actually telling you that before you do any changes in your life, before you do any changes in your behavior, in your attitude, you need to go through certain process. It's actually a model of change, a model of behavior change. So where are you now? Are you in action now? Yes. Have you quit? Yes. You, you are not quit yet, so you are not in action. So are you in maintenance now? So can anyone tell me which stage you are? Preparation. 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 Contemplation is you already made the decision to actually quit the smoking behavior. Now you are at this stage. Preparation. Okay. Now I need you all to actually, um, because since you all sit in four groups, right, I need you all to do a small little activities. Can each of you all, uh, not each of you all, each group of you all, take out one small piece of paper and then I give you 30 seconds a quick discussion and write down for me these front two groups please write down for me what are the reasons that actually encourage you to quit what are the reasons that actually bring you here and these two groups can you please write down for me what are the reasons that actually make you not to quit or make you fail to quit a quick 30 seconds fear fear oh fear fear anyone need my help Okay, done. Done. Good job. At the back. Are you done? Can we start now? Yes. yes. Guys, response. Yes. 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 Okay. First group, can you please tell me what is the reason that encourages you to quit smoking? Save money. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Save money. Anyone else? 
every time I go back, uh, my daughter will say, Daddy, you are smelly. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Smelly. Because of uh, smelly. And probably second hand smoke. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? I have a childhood reason. I was on fear because of 11 years old, I took two bata and then I smoke. Then, then after that, I scared my father would come and wake me until now. I Ciao, <laughs> <laughs> trauma. <laughs> okay, that was two bata. Here, here. Health reason. Health reason. Okay. What about why not quitting? Don't know why. What do you mean, don't know why? Don't know why. No reason for no it. Okay. Yeah. You cannot find the reasons for it. Cannot find the reason for quitting. Don't know why you should quit. This is a uh, Leslie reason. So peer pressure. Because everyone uh, beside you, every uh, friends, your friends beside you actually always offer you uh, secrets and then for you to actually smoke together. So if you not smoke, you are not part of the circle. So any other reasons? Look cool. Style, look cool. It's a look style. Cool, stylish. stylish. So, look cool. 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 Still can afford. Still can afford. Every day you need it. Every day you need it. Every day you need it. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay, now. You see. Try it more, yeah. So, there are so many reasons that will actually support you to quit and also support you not to quit. So now, how? So you have one side, the angel tell you, telling you, hey, you have to quit lah, because you know, every day you smoke one, one packet. Can anyone tell, tell me how much is one packet? 17.50 exactly. 17. for one cigarette, uh, for one pack of cigarettes. Just increase the price last few weeks. Mm. Correct lah? Correct. Okay, every, if you, if you smoke every day one pack, which is 20, uh, 20 sticks of uh, cigarettes, I'm sure a lot of you actually already more than that or reach that level so can you calculate for me if you smoke one day one pack how much does it cost in one month 1750 times 525 525 if it's one year 6300 okay what about 10 years 63000 and mind you the price of cigarettes is actually increasing every year. Oh, Correct? Uh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine 63,000 you can actually pay for now payment for one 600 something worth a uh, condo. You can buy a car already. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, this is already one car. Yeah. And if you buy Proton, it's actually more than one car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yo. Correct? Uh? Yeah. And family. Why family? I'm sure most of us here, we have families. We have wives. Parents, we have child, and when we go home, whenever we go home, we actually expose our families to second-hand smoke, and also third-hand smoke. I'm sure a lot of you never heard of this third-hand smoke. What is third-hand smoke? Whenever we smoke, there are a lot of debris, and also these um, the secrets uh, particles actually falls on your shirt, in your car, wherever you wear, uh, wherever you go, there are traces. So, you might say, I change clothes. Whenever I come down to my car, I actually vacuum. But there are still traces around, particles around, sticking in your shirt, the nanoparticles that you cannot see by your bare eyes. These will actually expose your child and old people to the chances of getting asthma, COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Okay. And my childhood trauma, this is very personal experience. Uh, and also health. As I, I, I think I do not need to stress so much on health because this is a well-known fact. In fact, you got all these uh, labels, picture, picture labels on your cigarette box. box, and to warn you of getting this cancer, that cancer, whatever, uh, erectile dysfunction, all these things. But still, everyone is actually smoking. So these are the reasons that support you to quit and support you not to quit because you have peer pressure. 
you don't know why you should read, uh, you should quit and you still can afford lah. Never mind lah, one Honda City, Honda City lah. I still can afford, even I can drive bands. And it's addicted. So, why I ask you all to write out this why quit and why not quit? Because before you sign up for this quit smoking session, you need to really find an ultimate reason for you to quit. It can be your professional image, it can be your money, it can be peer pressure, Peer pressure can also influence you to quit. Sometimes all around people, all around you are not smoking and you are the only one who are smoking. And also health. And the most important, I'm sure for most, most of us is actually family. So before you really committed, make a vow to yourself, you really need to find a reason to support you to walk through the lifelong journey of quit smoking. If there is no reason for you to smoke, then I will suggest you to find one. So how to find one? List down as how I list out just now. Why quit and why not quit? You have to do a re-evaluation of yourself and rebalance. Why are you signing up this program? So, hey, you can do it. Can you do it? Yes! yes. Can you do it? Yes. yes! So one more time, I quit. I quit! One more time, I quit! I quit! Thank you very much. Is there any questions before I continue to my third module, which is help you to prepare yourself? Uh, what are the resources that you need? For example, your pharmacology treatment or whatever to help you in quit smoking. Before I go further, I don't smoke, but I always smoke, or people smoke. So how do I handle this situation? Okay, very good. This program is not just for smokers. <coughs> this program also for People like you. Demise. Yes, probably people around you or your loved one or your couples is actually smoking and you wish to help them to smoke. Bring them along here and then you are the main reason for your loved one to actually quit smoking. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.